Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. Today we're going to dive into the secrets of building through your cockpit. Let's get started. All right, so it's been a while since we did any kind of experimenting in Space Engineers. And I guess today is the day to dive in a little bit more into learning the secrets of how to build out of your cockpit. As we did it in the Surviving as a Trader. Um, didn't really work out because I think I have the ports all set up incorrectly. So I think it's time to really dive into it to see how we can get it working correctly. So as always, let's build a quick ship. And we're going to be in creative mode to create this. So it'll be a little bit quicker. We'll do, I guess we could do a small grid ship. I think that will work okay. Should work okay. We'll build a landing gear first and then we'll build a bit of a pillar system here and we just build a whole entire ship this way first we want to figure out what kind of cockpit we're going to use and i think it's going to need that larger port in order for this to work so we either build this one or the fighter cockpit we're gonna add some kind of cargo or be able to put and store um materials there so things like steel plate needs a large port in order for it to go through so if we had a cargo container, we do need to make sure it's running through the large port. But if we have enough space to put in a hundred in the fighter cockpit, that's fine too. Let's see if this works out okay. Um, I think because it's in the base right now, it's not going to be let us do that. But that means we just got to, you know, kind of fill out the rest of the ship. So then that way we could add that there. So let's just do that really quickly. So we just need a cargo. Let's just do a medium cargo for now. We don't need a large one for the purposes of this um, scenario of things. So we do one or two. I think one is fine. And then we just add some batteries and a connector. Let's just do a connector first. It's a basic little ship. It's going to be pretty much consisting of this. <laughs> uh, good enough. And of course we need some batteries. So batteries can add to the top, bottom. I'm gonna add it to the left and right really quickly right here. Adds a bit of a wing design to it. And then of course we do our thrusters. So here we are we are on Earth. So we can just add atmospheric thrusters, no problem. So we can add quickly one here. One here. Um, a few up thrusters right over here. And we need forward thrusting and forward thrusting can be right here and right here. No problem. Now it's the side thrusting, which is always a problem for most cases. But with this kind of lengthy ship, we should be okay. We just do it right here and here. Two in each side. And of course, something I always miss is a gyroscope. So don't miss a gyroscope if you're building something or a ship. <laughs> so here, oh, that's your basic looking ship right there. Nothing too crazy at all. Uh, we'll knock out this platform and we should be good to go. All right. So kind of made a slew of different cockpits, different ships to experiment with the building with the cockpit. So as you see here, the original one that we first started with is this one added with the welder. Just so we can weld things together while we're trying to build with the cockpit. We try with different cockpits as well. So we have these here and this is a proof of concept one which i'll explain in a second so in order to build from the cockpit we do need to have some kind of system where it can travel from one end to the other uh, or up to the cockpit i should say so if we were to throw the steel plates here into the connector it has to be able to travel up to the cockpit so if i just get rid of these steel plates on me it could show how that kind of works out so if we're out here, we do control G, it could be left or right control. It does this free placement mode act is active in the cockpit. And you'll see a nice little crosshair change right in front of us as well. And that crosshair change is pretty much the crosshair you're gonna use to kind of build from. So all the normal buttons do work. So for example, pressing one for my light armor blocks is the large one and then we could go to the smaller one so that is pretty much the same you could use your mouse wheel to change the different blocks as well and using the crosshair you have to get a little close sometimes 
but you can place it right over here. So the only drawback of this is that you can't necessarily expand it out further or get it too close or get it closer to you. But then again, that's the same as if you were just standing here and you can't really get it further backwards in non-creative mode. But in creative mode, as we are in now, we can go backwards. We can go forward and backwards close to us. And what's interesting about this is that if you do go as far back and as close to yourself and then go into the cockpit and then get into that cockpit build mode, it does kind of push it out more or push it closer. So that's pushed out. Let's push it closer. And you'll see that it's like pretty much touching the cockpit itself. So there is some control there. But if you were to get out of creative mode, you can't move it forward or backwards. And right when you get off creative mode, that's where it creates the issue. Where right now we had it close to us and then we exited out of creative mode. So it's stuck close to us. But you can just reset that by pressing the two bar key again. So I just press one again and it just put default distance right there. And this is the default distance out of creative mode right there. And it's not too bad. It, it's quite a distance, not too, too much. It's about two to three full blocks. I think one, two, two full blocks roughly away from each other. So that's not bad at all in this non-creative mode type of um, placement. So we can place it here. We can place it anywhere, as you see there. And that is just having it in the cockpit itself. It, if you want, you could put it on yourself and it still works fine. And you could fly with it and release it. <laughs> and it does have some momentum too. So that's, that's another thing. <laughs> Possible way to launch some stuff here. And I nearly just destroyed all the other ships I'm going to show you as well. <laughs> but I found it to work fairly easily in first person view. See, I could build like this. And then I could go to my welder. And you can press G, go to your block tools, and grab your welder. It's funny how one of them is actually the build, building the welder. And one of them is actually selecting the welder. So <laughs> pressing 2 is the building of the welder. So that's what that is. If you want to switch to the welder, as I just did, I switched to three and that's the welder. But of course you gotta blank out what's in front of you. So we blank it, blank it out and then three is our welder. You can probably hear it and you see it right there. It doesn't have any steel plates in the welder right now because it's not connected, but you can use it that way. Or of course you just hit control G and then select the welder, same thing. As you see there. So in third person view, for whatever reasons, it's not the greatest. As you see here, it looks like you should be able to place it, but it's not placing it. Um, you have to get fairly close to place it. And you probably place it right, right, right there. And I don't know if we could build it on top or not. But it seems like a, a bit of an issue when it comes to third person view. First person view, definitely easy to do. But that's... The best way to go about it all right so in terms of discussing the placement of the um, ports so it does need to have a way to get into the, f the cockpit itself so there's a proof of concept type of ship right here which is pretty ugly but i throw in a connector it's connected to a medium cargo and to another medium cargo into the welder and the medium cargo is connected to the small port on the fighter cockpit. All right, so we threw all the steel plates into this connector, connected to medium cargo container and everything like that. The only thing it's not connected to, or it is connected, but not through a large port, is the cockpit itself. So right here is the connector, so it can't travel up to the fighter cockpit because it's only the small port, and steel plates need the large ports um, to be placed. Okay, so if we were to grab the light armor block, you see there, we need steel plates to build. So that's the proof of concept. You have to make sure you have the large port uh, accessible or maybe put on yourself. Either one is fine. Um, as you see here, I'll we'll put it in there. Now we can build it out or as I mentioned, grab it on yourself. 
and you'll be able to place your blocks here as well. So proof of concept, that's true. It works out fine that way. And just make sure you have the right ports for the right materials. <laughs> if you're gonna build stuff out of your, your cockpit, yeah, definitely make sure the large ports are connected. So another proof of concept is this one here. Um, I like the original ship right here better. I mean, minus the welder, we gotta find a better <laughs> spot for that. But the cockpit, this, the normal cockpit, not the fighter cockpit, has a large port on the bottom. So we connect it to a conveyor junction, into a welder, into a medium carbon container with the connector. So in this ship that has nothing here, um, we can throw it, throw the steel plates right there for connection. And same thing. Oop. Control G and you'll see the ability to build from here. So the great, the cool thing about this is that this cockpit and the, on the other cockpit, not really a large difference in terms of distance away from the cockpit itself. So the initial cockpit right there, we were able to build that far away. And we're going to try to build this one a little bit further away as well. If I had steel plates, so I got my steel plates and let me just put this thing down right there. Try to get as far back as possible. And roughly right there. And as you can see, cockpit wise, nearly the same. In terms of distance away. So I don't think I did this one perfectly, but if we wanted to really back it up all the way. As much as we can. It'll be right around there. And as you see here, it basically where I sat is the distance. Difference. In some ways, this one's a little bit closer because it doesn't have this extra spacing right over here. <laughs> but it's not too bad at all. If I were to go with a stylistic version, definitely this one. <laughs> as long as we could fix up the welder in that case. All right, so that's pretty much how to build out your cockpit. But what about building out of a helm? That's technically, in some ways, part of the category of a cockpit. Um, as you see here, is a helm, cockpit, industrial cockpit and that one there so the industrial cockpit it's gonna work as long as you yourself holds the materials why because the small industrial cockpit doesn't actually have a large port so that's the biggest problem but if you hold it yourself like you hold enough steel plates on your, on your own inventory you'll be able to build it but you won't be able to pass anything along the helm itself of course doesn't have anything passed along either but of course you could throw it in the helm just like the industrial cockpit as uh, at the same time but can we actually build out of these things i don't know so if we if we go to control g oh there is no control g on the helm so that's interesting yep that does not work whatsoever so the helm doesn't allow you to do that whatsoever which is pretty interesting. So let's just test just in case. Does it work for this thing here? The industrial cockpit. Control G. Okay, yeah. So that works fine for the industrial cockpit. And because I have a whole bunch of it on me. I can throw or use this here. So interesting enough. Everything but the helm cockpit. Well, helm is not really a cockpit, but <laughs> it kind of acts like one. Um, it's able to actually build out of it. So I guess you need a seat or a chair in order to build out of it. And the distance is pretty much the same. Um, we can make this look good. But again, there's no large port. So that's the biggest problem. Okay, so just more proof of concepts. There are something called... Um, like a buggy cockpits and stuff like that. So, so let's see what we can do here. Let's grab a few of these. Let's grab the rover cockpit, saddle cockpit, large saddle cockpit, and buggy cockpit. So those are kind of like your your seatings um, that you can use. We could do seat controls as well and test it, which includes. A passenger seat, seat seats, and these things here. Actually, all the seats are here. So one type of flying or, or type of chair I like to use is this one, control seat. 
the a control seat is their ability to do control G. Nope. <laughs> so only those cockpits seem to work fine. Um, let's try a buggy cockpit. Oh, buggy cockpit works. That's interesting. Was not expecting that to work. And let me get out of creative mode. So the distance of the material works okay. Or placement is okay. And I, and everything works too. So you can rotate it and things like that. Um, you can change fairly quickly. The buggy cockpit works well. Interesting. Which else works decently? Let's see. Get rid of the buggy cockpit. What we got? Let's see. Uh, rover cockpit I think works probably. Yes, it does. See here, we could drop that in creative mode. What else is there? What will the saddle cockpit? That's the compact one. Nope, that doesn't work. Interesting. <laughs> <clears throat> what about the non-compact one? Nope, that doesn't work. The rover and buggy cockpit are your best bet as your alternative. Uh, none of the seats work. So looks like your only cockpits that work is the fighter cockpit, your regular cockpit, industrial cockpit, your rover and buggy cockpit. Generally, it's pointless <laughs> if you use your jetpack fairly often or you have a, a, the normal vanilla jetpack and have a whole bunch of hydrogen tanks, you'll be fine. But if you don't have a jetpack, because if you turned it off, or like me in the Surviving Like a Trader, I have the Survival Reborn Spacewalk mod on. So jetpack is not as easily accessible or usable. So that's another thing that would require me to build out of my cockpit. and. Thank you guys for letting me know that you can do that and it kind of sparked my interest in learning how to do it. I think it didn't work in my surviving as a trader because I did it mostly in third person view and my ports were a little off. Although I think I did have it on me and try to build it, it didn't work. I think that it likely is because I was in third person view. So yeah, definitely the tip is best to build out of first person view. Make sure you're, you're using large ports if you're transferring items from your cargo containers. But other than that, this newfound thing that I've never used will change my life. So I hope it changes yours if you haven't thought about using building in your cockpit. Let me know in the comments down below if you already have been using building out of your cockpit. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.